lab mandarin this video is about measurement of amniotic fluid volume or the liquor volume what ultrasonography measurements are used to assess the amount of amniotic fluid volume there are three methods of measuring the amniotic fluid and those include subjective assessment of amniotic fluid measurement of maximum vertical pool and measurement of amniotic fluid index by subjective assessment of amniotic fluid estimation we mean amniotic fluid evaluation along with myometry measurement and placing into one of the three categories normal oligohedromnios or polyhedromnios subjective ultrasonography assessment of amniotic fluid volume may serve as a screening test for the experienced ultrasonographer but there are many inter and intra observer variations in this type of assessment next set of the maximum vertical pool which is also called the single deepest pocket when to measure the maximum vertical pool in both singleton and twin pregnancies it is measured at less than 24 weeks of gestation how to measure the maximum vertical pool first of all find the largest pocket of amniotic fluid free of cord and the fetal parts measure the greatest dimension with ultrasound transducer perpendicular to the uterus the normal value of maximum vertical pool is 2 to 8 cm how to measure the amniotic fluid index It is used in singleton pregnancies of 24 weeks or more. How to measure it? First of all, divide the uterus into four equal quadrants. Measure the deepest vertical pocket of fluid in each quadrant. The pocket should be free of cords or the fetal parts. Add all the four measurements together. The normal amniotic fluid index measures between 5 to 24 cm. Less than 5 cm means oligohedromnios and more than 24 cm means polyhedromnios. How to measure the amniotic fluid index? First of all, divide the uterus into four quadrants. Those are A, B, C, and D. Measure the deepest vertical pocket of fluid in each quadrant. Add the four measurements together. The pocket should be free of cord and the fetal parts, and always measure the pocket vertically. After measuring the amniotic fluid volume, it is very important to do the fetal biometry as well, in which we do fetal measurements by using different ultrasound parameters, and those include first of all the biparietal diameter, the head circumference, abdominal circumference, the femur length, and the crown rump length. Why is fetal biometry important? First of all, it helps us to determine the exact gestational age. Secondly, the fetal growth restriction is diagnosed by doing fetal biometry. How to measure the biparietal diameter? Get a clear view of the fetal head, in which we can visualize the thalami, the fox cerebri, and the cerebral septum pellucidum. The caliper is placed from the outer edge of near calvarial wall to the inner edge of four calvarial wall. To measure the fetal head circumference, use electronic calipers on the ultrasound machine to measure the outer edge of the fetal skull in a cross-sectional view. The calipers should be placed at the widest point of the skull, encompassing the circumference. To measure the fetal abdominal circumference, first of all, obtain the transverse view of the fetal abdomen. The umbilical vein should be at the anterior part. The stomach should be visualized, and there should be no kidney or heart in this view. The fetal spines should be best positions uh, positioned at the site. Place the caliper on the outer border of abdominal skin to measure the abdominal circumference. In order to measure the femur length, slide the probe cordially from the fetal abdomen until urinary bladder is visualized. At this point, a cross section of the femur is usually seen. Keeping the anterior femur in view, rotate the probe slowly until the full length of the femur is obtained. Identify the end points of the femur and measure it from one end to another, excluding the trochanter. The crown rump length should be measured on the mid sagittal section of the entire fetus, ideally midline facial profile with a nasal bone, fetal spine, genital tubercle, and rump should all appear on a single image. The caliper should be placed on the outer border of the skin covering the crown and the rump. With the help of the fetal biometry, we can estimate the fetal weight. The most used equation of estimated fetal weight worldwide is the three parameter head lock equation based on the head circumference, the abdominal circumference and femur length. And that is given by log of the 10 that is weight is equal to 1.3 Minus 0.00326 multiplied by abdominal circumference multiplied by femur length plus 0.0107 multiplied by head circumference plus 0.0438 multiplied by abdominal circumference plus 0.158 multiplied by femur length. So when we put our measurements in this equation, we can get the weight of the fetus. 
So thank you so much. That was all about amniotic fluid estimation and a little bit about fetal biometry. Subscribe on Ops and Gyne. Thank you so much. Allah Hafiz.